Welcome back, welcome back. You guys already know that my channel is not a political channel. I don't promote any political stuff, but what's going on in Cuba, actually, it hit home. Because if you guys don't know, Oquita has two sisters in Cuba. And over all this that's going on over there, we lost communication. You know, the government shut down the internet. You know, my heart goes out to everybody in Cuba fighting back for the freedom and hope for the best outcome. You know, and the best outcome for Cuba is to be free and let the people choose what they want to do. But we're here on the West Coast and, and yeah, I've been here working. Uh, that's why if you guys notice, I haven't posted that many things on Instagram or YouTube, uh, trying to get the kitchen done. Cause finally I'm working on the kitchen and I'll show you guys later on how it's going. Check out the place in the back, loving it. Finally got furniture back here uh, on the Lanai, my hangout spot. Uh, and then today we decided since it's already late, we haven't ate lunch. We're gonna go ahead and eat lunch at uh, a near island here because you know what, Ogita wants more shells. So I said, you know what, let's, let's make it a trip. Let's go over to the island, pick up shells and have lunch at the island. So uh, we're just gonna hop on the, on the, on the island hopper Let's see what they brings us. So. All right, so we're getting the cooler ready. There we go. You can't forget the sausages. We got turkey burgers and more sausages there. And here's the trick that I like using. I like freezing up the bottles of water. So like that, it helps cool the, the, the cooler down and I don't have to put so much ice in the coolers. We, we freeze about eight to six water bottles and we throw it in. And believe it or not, they last the whole day. All right, let me give, give you guys an update on the mangoes. Yep, we ate two of them and they taste really good. And luckily, when the little tropical storm came over, it didn't knock them down. So, we still got more to go. Check them out, look, look, look. Got a whole bunch. See them? They're huge. And we ate two of them and it tastes really good. Like them a lot. So we're just gonna go ahead and hop on the hopper and head over. And it's about, I think 12, 30, one o'clock, I don't even know. So we're gonna hop over there and uh oh you see our fish that was a fish that's jumped right there i don't know if you guys saw it on camera or not if you guys follow me on instagram that if you don't you should uh you guys notice that finally i got the hydro sport back uh atlantic marine they redid the whole system so i would like to thank alfonso from atlantic marine and for doing a great job and it took a little bit long because they had to wait for some parts special order parts that came from uh sea star so got everything ready to go so hopefully next weekend I'll be out in the water. Oh, and by the way, I would like to say happy birthday to Emily. She's, she's actually turning 15. If you're watching. And happy birthday. Happy uh, 15. Sorry we couldn't make it. Look at this. Today is a special day because even Gabby and Yuli and Cookie are coming on the hopper. Because they haven't rode it yet. And they're probably wondering, what's going on? This one seems much smaller. Is it safe? Am I going to fall overboard? But they don't have to worry about it because one thing about the boat is that the gunnels are pretty high. Oh, at least high enough that the dogs can't reach and fall over. So today we're off. We're off to a new adventure with the whole family. And feeling lucky already because if you guys live on the west coast, you guys notice that usually towards the afternoon, it gets pretty windy. But look, today, it's flat, just like glass. And if you guys seen my other videos before, you guys have noticed that I've mentioned that some of the people here don't use their boats. I figured it out. It's because some of the homes here are rental homes or snowbirds. So that's why they don't use that boat that much and there's so many empty lifts.
And before we start our adventure, and before I forget, I'm going to remind you guys that this Thursday we have a special episode. And no, it's not going to be Throwback Thursday. It's something else. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to like it. Because it has water, boats, and it's at a place that a lot of boaters want to visit. So make sure to tune in this Thursday at 1 o'clock for a special episode on Fresco Channel. Check this out. It's Gabby's first time on the Island Hopper. <laughs> and Cookie. And Yuli. And Yuli. Looking like a lion today. Yeah, look at how happy she is. Look, look, look. Look how happy she is. <laughs> so the whole fam, even the dogs, are going on the hopper today. You know why Gabby came? Because if she didn't came, she ain't gonna eat no lunch, as I told her. Hamburgers on the island. And now you're gonna stay home until she came. And I guess the dogs on the hamburgers too. So they came too. They looks pretty good. A little bit cloudy, but it's okay. We don't mind getting wet. So we're out of the channel one more time. If you notice why everyone's so serious, even Cookie, is because everyone's hungry and they wanted to stay home and eat at home. But I said, you know what? Let's make a day of it. Let's just go out and have some fun. I know once we get to the island and they get some food in their stomach, their attitude will change. Don't worry. I mean, why would you want to stay home with such a pretty day like this? I mean, we have a few clouds in the sky, but that's not gonna stop us. It has to stop us before. So why today? And anyway, we're not going that far because Picnic Island is right after Miserable Mile. But, and with a quick hippity hop, we're right at Picnic Island, right ahead. And look at this, there's already a few boaters here enjoying the island. And look at this, Yuli's excited to go in the water. Or maybe he sees the island and he wants to go exploring too. And yep, even on the island hopper, I like to use both anchors because like that, I could position the stern towards the island. Like that, it makes it easier for everyone to get on and off the boat. And I don't have to worry about the current changing the position of the boat. Look, I just saw something. Oh, look, look guys. Look, a starfish. You see it? See a starfish? See down there? It's pretty cool. So we have reached Picnic Island here. Ain't that many people here, so it makes it perfect. And look at Ogida. She already started. She already started that shell picking. Because this is that island we came and she found a lot of big, like dark shells. She wants to take more. And look, look at you. Throw them in the water. It's going to fall. Yuli's going to fall. Oh, because he sees a little dog. And so far, feeling lucky today again. Because usually there's a lot of boaters here and jet skiers visiting the island. But today, there's only a few. So we're going to enjoy the whole island to ourselves. And this island has three spots that people like to hang out. This one here, one to the north side, and one inside the cove. That if I get a chance, I'm going to show you guys. Look at Yuli, he's in the water. Oh, the water's really hot. Look at that. This is really cool. Wow, super low tide. Oh, look at that. Wow, the day is super hot. 
So we're gonna make a barbecue right, here. Yeah, there's a lot of big shells no, here. Esta es la humongous. Yes. Oh my god, esta es la isla que me gusta. Yes. Oh my god, I'm gonna go crazy. My back is hurting, but. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at these oh big shells. God. Oh my god, look at these big <laughs> shells. Real big, <laughs> my gosh. They're huge. Look at this, look, look. There's a lot of big shells here. Well, I guess Ogrida's in shell heaven. You know already, she loves picking shells. And it's not really for her. Most of the shells she picks is for her sister. And then she makes those really cool decorations that you guys have seen in the videos of our house. So while Ogrida keeps picking shells, I'm gonna go ahead and pick me a piece of watermelon because it's just perfect for this hot temperature because the watermelon is nice, juicy, and cold. And while I'm enjoying my watermelon, Ogita's enjoying the show picking because she already has a stack and she's calling me over to help her out. And I guess Yuli and Cookie are enjoying the island because they jump in the water, jump back out and do their own exploring. Hey, Yuli. Yuli's enjoying the island. He's all wet. It looks like we're gonna get wet from the top too. But it's okay though. Doesn't matter. This is what I have to do so, to Gabby enjoy the water. She doesn't want to get wet. You get it? Enjoy the water, she doesn't want to get wet. Guess what time is it? What time is it? Nope, not yet. But we got some though. We got some right here. So that's how nice it is. Just jump on the boat and come to one of the islands here. And, and cook some lunch. But if you notice behind me, I think nature is cooking something else. And it's gonna be a little bit of rain. So I better hurry up or we're gonna have some wet sausages. So look at that, it's coming, it's coming for us, but you know, we're from Miami, we're not leaving the water, we don't matter if we get wet on the top, because we're already wet on the bottom. Look at that, it's sizzling, you hear it? You hear the sizzle? Love them sausages. Do you guys like sausages? So it started to rain and instead of going home, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and weather it out under the bridge. Cause there's one right there, right? Check this out, barbecue on the run. Look at that. We're running, we're running from the rain. And I'm holding the barbecue. Cause it is wet. Look at that, it's raining hard right there. Right there, it's clear. We're gonna go to the bridge. And the barbecue's still going, baby. Still going. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! All right, so instead of going under the bridge, we found this open spot of sunlight in an island. So we're gonna go here, to this one. So that's a cool thing about the West Coast, there's plenty, plenty of islands to go see and run away from the rain, cause look at that. 
It is raining really hard right there. Really hard. Wow. So we're gonna hang out over here. It looks like white sand too. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, go to the right. So we're back. We ran away from the rain right there. We're staying near the bridge just in case. And we're trying to make some more sausages and hamburgers because some people over there didn't eat. On it, boy. Don't matter. A little rain's not gonna scare us. So we'll move again. Actually, it's our first time here. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm hungry. Should have been picking shells. I did it for the one of the persons that I love the most in my life. That's why I was picking shells. Your sister. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's clear. So we're not giving up. The rain's coming right there again. So now we're gonna go to the bridge. We're gonna go to the short part of the bridge. All right, Island. I guess uh, we will explore you next time, but not this time. So we're running, we're running, and the barbecue running again. <laughs> Yeah, no. the camera. yeah, right there, look at it. It's right there. It's like, you know when you start feeling that cold breeze? We're feeling the breeze. We did it. We are under the bridge. <laughs> and still doing the barbecue, check it out. <laughs> doing barbecue under the bridge. Look at that. <laughs> And here what I always tell my kids, if there's a will, there is a way. And we wanted to have barbecue for lunch on a boat, on an island. But it happened to turn out to be under a bridge. So while we're here, avoiding the rain, because it's still over there, they threw out a cast net and they're gonna try their luck. Because they had like four <coughs> sardines. <coughs> oh, we need four fish, four big ones, and we're ready to go. And why are you not fishing? Why are you not fishing? You're the lucky woman. There's only three or four lines. Well, grab one. So guess what? They didn't show me nothing. They didn't catch nothing. So we're just gonna head back home while we catch a little uh, dry spot because it looks like it's coming again. So we're gonna go before we get wet again. time feeling lucky today because even though we face bad weather we're riding back without getting wet or dealing with the choppy rough water hopper running away from the rain that we left behind but in front of us is also another cloud coming i think mother nature is playing games with us and she wants to get us wet and after all we reached our canal without getting a single drop of rain on us now i feel lucky one more time 
And up ahead, there she is, home sweet home. That I think the day turned out to be pretty exciting. What do you think? I mean, we're planning just to have a simple barbecue on a nearby island with Ogita and the kids. But the day turned out to be hide and go seek or catch me if you can with Mother Nature with her friendly clouds of rain. But I'm not complaining. Actually, I think it was pretty fun playing in the rain and determined to have a barbecue. Ba ba da ba ba ba